Howdy folks, welcome to Code of the Vest Survival. This time we have a cold steel shovel. They advertise it as a cold steel Spetsnaz shovel. Basically we are in a fairy tale land right now. Uh, this one, as you see, handle is covered with clear. Okay, a little bit of history about this model, this particular shovel. Shovel was created in 1860s by a Danish officer. It was introduced in the Russian Empire, in the Russian Empire's military for infantry units. And up to 1930, late 1930s, shovel didn't change anything. So basically for almost, almost 70 years, shovel had same design. In late 30s, shovel got this design. All the design was this wood was covered with a plate and plate had um, it was like a little studs so it kept it covered and it was reinforced right here up front that plate was reinforced with studs and in late 1930s shovel became very similar to this. That front was a little bit different, wasn't that sharp, but it was very similar. This one, as you see, it, it has a clear cover. It has a clear cover. Okay, original shovel didn't have it. Original shovel had just plain wood, plain wood. Um, it had a fire seal, fire it was sealed, so it would be preserved from water, uh, from any other environmental factors like a snow and stuff like this, humidity. So shovel didn't have a clear uh, fairy tale about Spetsnaz. Shovel was issued to all Soviet troops, especially infantry units. It was an entrenchment tool. Size of the shovel allowed soldier, depends on the ground, of course, and depends on his physical uh, capabilities. Soldier could dig up to half cubic meter an hour. Okay, so just picture a cubic meter so soldier was able to dig up to a half cubic meter an hour. Spetsnaz is trained to throw anything and everything to disable the enemy. So they're throwing shovels, axe, nail, piece of glass, knife, anything what they can throw. So instead of using shovel just for entrenchment, Spetsnaz was using that for throwing as well. Fairy tale was born. It became Spetsnaz shovel because they were throwing it. However, shovel was just a regular MPL 50. MPL 50 means small infantry shovel model 50. So Fairy tale about Spetsnaz, yes, Spetsnaz had those shovels, but it wasn't specifically designed for Spetsnaz. It was a regular MPL. Spetsnaz were training to th throw the shovel to eliminate their enemy. Shovel didn't have those edges so sharp like this. It was only one side and front. Shovel can be used as an axe, 
also can be used as a hammer, allowed to hammer something, to nail a nail or a stake in the ground. This one, as you see, wood doesn't go all the way to the end. Original shovel had a wood going all the way to the end, like this, fill that gap right here. It added a screws. These screws kind of a little bit crooked, looks rough. But yes, original shovel had a screws, just like this. It was used for, for a lot of purposes. Cooks use that as a cooking tool to mix their kasha. Infantry units were digging foxholes with it. Spetsnaz were throwing them, so shovels saw a lot of different use. And shovel was deployed on civilian population in early 90s during uh, Soviet Union collapse. So shovel itself, not this particular one of course, but shovel MPL-50 has a lot of history. Even today it remains a huge icon for a lot of campers and travelers and hikers. Seems like the legend never gonna die. So. This is cold steel version of MPL-50. And it is interesting to see some see imperfections, some imperfections like, like a handle, handle and screws. screws. But overall, it is very useful. It's a very useful tool for camping, very useful tool for hiking. It has a sheath. It has a sheath. can be hung on a belt, backpack. Um, Let's see how heavy it is. Okay. It's one pound, 10.8 ounces, one pound, 10.8 ounces, okay. Let's see with the cover, with the cover is two pounds, yes, two pounds, 0 0.3 ounces. So yes, it's basically like a two pounds. Um, it's a very useful shovel, very useful tool. Uh, we'll be taking that for a camping. We'll see what it can do in open range. We're gonna try chop some wood with it. Let's see. Folks, keep in mind, this edge is sharp also, so you have to be very careful, don't hurt yourself. When you're going up, make sure you won't hit yourself, okay? Because both sides are sharp. Both sides are sharp. Yes, it is functional. You can cut stuff with it. Definitely, you won't be building log cabin, but for camping, I mean, it excellent tool. Excellent. I'm not sure about this handle. I'm probably gonna take off this clear. Just take some sandpaper and clean it because it's a just not pleasant feel. Feels kind of weird. So yes, we'll try the shovel. We'll post part two. We'll see how shovel gonna do on open range. Okay, folks, stay tuned in and we're gonna post our part two. Thanks for watching.